Aries, welcome to my channel. Let's see what are the important messages you need to hear in this moment. And this is going to be for the month of March 2023. I'm super excited to see what the month has in store. It's already March, which is crazy, but uh, let's see what awesomeness great things are going to be in store for you also if you want to see future readings from me and you want to stick around make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a beat and check the description as well if you would like to get a personal or to follow me on my pick a card channel or astrology channel okay so aries first card we have is choosing your path all is possible so this is speaking to you having a very clear vision of what you want your future life to look like. You guys are aware of what goals you want to accomplish, where you want to see yourself, and you're in a space to where you're aware of where you're at currently versus where you want to be and what it takes to get you to where you want to be. And in you knowing this, having this awareness, the important message with this first card, it's imperative that you stick to this choice that you feel compelled to make. Your heart could be literally leading you, guiding you when it comes to your direction, your path, and you're needing to listen to it or be unapologetic about the, ch the choices that you decide to make, irregardless of what people around you may be thinking, okay? Some of you are wanting to relocate. Some of you are wanting to maybe go into entrepreneurship or choosing maybe a path that's different than what people around you may want for you or may expect. But this is you needing to know that this is your life to live. Okay, so beautiful energy with that card. And we also have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So Aries, you guys may be someone who's on social media, somebody who is a tarot reader, somebody who is <laughs> just innately always there to like guide and lead other people and it's imperative for you to be that wise leader for yourself as well okay and be aware of the fact that you know maybe you're that one family member who made it made it out or you you know are the first family member to go to college or first family member to accomplish something big and it's kind of remembering who you are <laughs> is what i'm basically getting with this card remember who you are and what it took for you to achieve what you've already achieved in your life because with this card too this individual is looking at all the other mountains that they can now conquer because they've already made it so far in their journey so as you're aware of who you are and and what characteristics about yourself have brought you so far if you capitalize on this and take advantage of this this could lead you even further with you having self-awareness Okay, and we also have discovering the truth. You stand in the light of truth. So if you are seeking answers outside of yourself, know that you have all the answers within you that you could be searching for, okay? Also with discovering truth, anything that is uncertain, unclear to you at the moment, Spirit's going to give you the answers in the appropriate time, especially if this has anything to do with people um, or outcomes here. And we also have overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. So this is another confirmation or I guess a push from the universe to say, look, yes, we see that you have been going through some interesting times, but you have been so courageous, so willing to step up to the plate and willing to make it on the other side of those obstacles that you're going to see reward in the end and everything's going to make sense and it's only you who can accomplish this, okay? I forgot, what is that story about the man who had to pull his sword out of the, the rock? I forgot. It's on the tip of my tongue. Leave it in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I'm thinking about that story where, or that, I think it's a folktale, where 
this man had a sword lodged in a rock. And uh, I believe it goes something to the effect of only a certain individual can pull the sword out. And everybody thought that the strongest man in the village was going to be able to pull it out or, or whatnot. And then it ended up being... I forgot the, how the story goes, but anywho, if you know what, I'm, what story I'm talking about, then you, you probably get where I'm going with that message. It's like these obstacles that you've been going through have been tailor made to kind of show you your own personal strength and you guys are going to really see it. Okay, so let's continue. So let's pull some cards from here. Important messages my Aries need to hear. We have the Dreamwalker, Dreams, the Collective Good, Illusions. Yes, so, hmm. So this is an encouragement for you guys to keep dreaming big. If you think that you're in a space to where you're crazy or the ideas that you could have or just the sudden inspiration that you could have as well um is coming from a place of you you know being disillusioned or um you just feeling like you're not sure how you're going to make certain things happen or how you're going to step into this new transition in your life and um what that's going to look like this could just be nervous jitters but <laughs> spirit is saying that you need to continue to dream big and you need to make sure you're prioritizing making your dreams a reality by taking actions in the 3d okay aries let's keep going we also have synchronicity divine intelligence and cause and effect the web weaver so there's going to be synchronicities left and right for my Aries, and this is going to be confirmation for this strong urge or this strong pull that you guys are having at this moment. You could find yourself wanting to do something drastic, do something different. And look, this could be the planetary alignments that are making you feel this way, or this is you deciding that, no, I want to step into a new version of myself. I want to step into um, newer energy, especially understanding how cause and effect has been a huge uh, thing in your life as of recently. So you could be doing something different, something drastic, something bold. And this could be because your spirit is literally pulling you to do so, okay? And this is a sign that you guys are not crazy. <laughs> this is coming from a place that you guys are not even aware of. And we have the fire prince, which represents optimism and we have aggression. So like I said, that burst of energy you guys could be feeling um, it's coming from a divine place. Trust and believe that. What are some important messages my Aries needs to hear? All right, so I only wanted three. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. We got the Ten of Cups. Love that. This is speaking to emotional completeness. All right, and we got the Ten of Swords. So we got two Tens. Interesting. Let me actually try to back these cards up a little bit. Okay, we have two tens, which is insane. All right, and two energies that are like totally different, but symbolize something so meaningful for you guys. So let's get into it. Uh, important message for you. It's imperative that you guys continue to listen to your heart. If your heart is telling you to, you know, pursue that job, pursue moving to that state or that city. If your heart is telling you that it's time for you to, you know, do certain things in your life, switch things up, you need to make sure you're doing it from a place of you doing things for you and not letting family, not letting the people that you love stop you, especially if this has anything to do with relocation in any form, okay? I also get the sense that if you guys have been in the space of just denying yourself of your desires or wants for way too long, you guys are going to be extremely happy with this breakthrough that you're gonna be going through, especially with the 10 of swords here. I think that a negative cycle, this you know lack of believing 
abandoning yourself. This energy of feeling just defeated is going to be coming to a close. And this is going to be an older version of you uh, that's being released and, and, and shed for a happier vibrant, more upbeat Aries uh, coming through here. So this is beautiful. Full encouragement to go after your dreams. Full encouragement to go after your dream home. Okay. Aries. Okay, so let's pull two last cards from here and then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. So give me two more cards, Aries. We have, I prioritize raising my vibration. Okay, that's way too many cards. We're going to pick that up a little bit later. <laughs> and we also have my feelings are valid. So if this doesn't hit the message on the head in terms of what I was picking up for you guys, when it comes to how you feel, know that you guys are valid in how you feel. And when we're talking about feelings, we're also talking about the intuition. It's coming from a place where you don't quite know why you feel the strong urge to do something. Um but it's there and this is a, a full encouragement for you guys to listen to your feelings listen to how things have been making you feel or will make you feel in the month of march and then with you prioritizing your vibration this is being aware of who you're letting you know know your plans who you're letting in your energy this is prioritizing doing you. Aries, you guys are givers. You could give a lot of your energy to people and they could just take, 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 take. So this is you taking your energy back, okay? I love this reading. I hope that this reading was helpful. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one.